All right, guys, coming at you with a video here. I want to show you a dead Chevy Volt. Here's the deal. We went to Maine. I didn't drive this for five days, and the car wasn't plugged in. And apparently, the 12-volt battery here has drained. Just put a multimeter on it. It's reading just over 4 volts. So something went wrong with this battery. Something drained it, and it's down to 4 volts. That means... Probably the battery has no chance of recovering. And I want to show you what I've done so far. All right, so the irony here of this electric car with a 16 kilowatt battery is without a 12 volt battery, you can't power the car up. It's kind of funny. And what the real kicker is, is that the 12 volt battery is actually in the back of the car. And you can't get into the trunk because it's electronic. There's no manual pop. There's no key to put in. So there's no way you can get to the battery. Of course, they put jumper cords up here. Positive right here. Then negative block down here. The things I've tried so far is I've tried putting a battery charger on. This is one of these 6, 12 volt batteries. So low voltage wise, it's seeing as a 6 volt battery, not a 12 volt battery. So. Try putting on a small battery tender. This is 12 volt, it's only 1.25 amps. It's really for kind of maintaining your battery. But with this, it won't recognize the battery because it's too low. So we're left to jumping the battery once my wife gets home here. I'm gonna give that a shot. All right guys, let's go ahead and take a look here. Inside the volt, show you. So, this is new, this uh, blue screen in the background. Looks like a, I think it's a warning screen. Shows you there's a problem here. I did get the trunk open, so that's a good thing. And it says service battery charging system. Yeah, no kidding, right? So, at this point, I still have uh, my wife's car hooked up here. And uh, I'm gonna disconnect it in a couple minutes here. It is kind of charging the battery right now. Let's go ahead here and see if, let me turn the car off. I'll turn it back on. Okay, now the engine has turned on. So that's a really good thing here. I may go ahead and take the car out for a spin and see if I can keep it going here and get that battery charged up to, you know, a good 12 volts here at minimum get this thing off to the dealer or I may just change the battery myself we'll see here now I got the trunk open it's not a very big battery let's go take a look at it yeah the battery it's a little bigger than, than I thought here let's go ahead and focus here you can see here but uh, let's go around this way you can see a little better here Small 60 amp hour 600 cold cranking amps. I guess it's a little actually a little bigger than I thought All right guys just got back from a short ride here computer is running you can see the car is charging here also check the 12 volt side with my multimeter I'm getting 13.72 volts I do believe when you plug in the car it also charges the 12 volt side if that's not the case I'll check later tonight check the voltage of the 12 volt side I'll put my 12 volt charger on now I have a good 12 13 volts I can use the charger it's going to work right all right guys the lesson learned here if you lose the 12 volt side of the Chevy Volt, the entire car will be down. Everything is electric on this car, including the trunk, windows, doors, brake. So just make sure you have some kind of booster cable, some kind of car starting system for your battery to charge the battery, to jump the battery, especially if it's at super low voltage, be able to bring that battery up then charge it all right guys going to end the video right here hopefully this video was helpful for you especially if you're having issues with your 12 volt battery in the chevy volt thanks for watching guys you have to do like subscribe leave a comment share and we'll catch you next time